Northwestern. Uh, okay. Network at Northwestern News Network together. Wow. And uh, yeah, we actually did a little back and forth a couple weeks ago, and now here we are. Wow, that's awesome. And what particularly are you nominated for? Did you have a news package, or was it? Yeah, we. Well, you have one piece, right? Yeah, mine's one long form piece. It's about nine minutes long, and it just it's about the story of one girl. Um, oh. Whereas Jesse, I think, has an entire reel. Yeah, that, yeah. That threw okay. a bunch of threw a bunch of packages in there, a little montage yeah. uh, sequence for you guys, and. Uh, Stuff, everything from the NFL draft when it was here last spring, a little DC news because mm -hmm. we have a DC bureau. So I uh, did something when Benjamin Netanyahu spoke, and a couple okay. other things thrown in there in the mix. Wow, that's awesome. Is this your guys' first Emmys? Yep, yes. Yes? Are you nervous? A little bit. It's kind of overwhelming to see a Cirque du Soleil who's right, here, right. And, uh, <laughs> and the DJ is on a Segway type right. attraction. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> very exciting. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We're going to have more live at the red carpet here at the 2015 Chicago Midwest Emmys. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the 60th Annual Chicago Midwest Emmys Backstage Show. I have interviewed you a couple times yes. in the past <laughs> for winning Emmys, yes. and tonight you guys did not win, but we still want to share your story because it's very important. And to Harry, this is pretty record-breaking that you were the first female reporter to wear a hijab, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, it's an, it, it's been a struggle, and I was telling someone backstage it was a struggle for so long personally, mm -hmm. um, but it's such a different feeling that it resonates with so many other people, so much so that Kane, award-winning journalist himself, was able to tell it. That's an honor in and of itself. Yeah. You know, when we talk about courage and we talk about um, being on in the trenches, it takes a lot of courage to do what Tahara has done. You can imagine the sort of comments that come with this. You yeah. can imagine the backlash. And it doesn't deter her. She's a journalist of the extraordinary caliber. She's out there doing the job that many of us have to do. You know, she's not getting paid any extra money to have to deal with all the other things that come with yeah. doing what she's doing. And I, I just want to say you are a profile in courage, and it was great to cover your story. <laughs> and to her, really quick, what do you have to say to other young women that are following in your footsteps? I would say, this might sound cliche, but don't give up and don't be afraid to work hard. Yeah. That's the bottom line. You always have to focus on yourself and how, asking myself, how can I be better? How can I be the best journalist? And hopefully one day I'll be here for my own Emmy Award nomination. Yes. Absolutely. The nomination <laughs> is a great start. It's a yes. Great start. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, stay tuned because there's even more from the backstage show here at the 60th Annual Chicago Midwest Emmys.